guys, welcome back to Perk Tomato, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make this DIY AG size sewing machine. And it's so cute, it's really easy, it's so cute. You can make this, go through all his mechanisms. Also, it looks like your model can actually sew on it, which is so cute. Here are these little buttons, and here is a little wheel over here. So if you want to know how to make this cute little baby, just keep on watching, and yeah, so let's go. Okay, the things you're going to be needing to make this craft are cardboard or foam board. You can use whatever. I'm going to be using cardboard. Paper board. This can be from like a cereal box. Silver metallic craft paint. Paintbrush. Scissors. Hot glue gun. Straw. Any color thread of your choice. White craft paint. Assorted buttons. And if you don't have assorted buttons, you can just use like circles out of foam board or cardboard or whatever and then paint them whatever color you want. This template that I made for the sewing machine, I'll link it in the description box down below. You can just print it off. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a little print sign if you're on a computer. Some type of decorative paper. I'm using this honeycomb pattern, but you can use a solid color or a pattern. You'll see what I'm doing with this later. Mod Podge, and this reflective silver scrapbooking paper. If you don't have this, you can always just paint regular paper with silver craft paint. So firstly, I'm going to just cut out these three little boxes. Don't worry about this one, you only need to worry about these three. So with my cardboard and one of these little boxes of our template, I lay it on my cardboard like this, and then I'm going to cut around it, and then I get a piece like this. Okay, so for this piece of the template, I found that about five pieces of cardboard would do the job, and this is going to make it, we, we're going to stack them up, and it's going to be like 3D. For this long rectangle template that I labeled as B, I made about five pieces of cardboard and I'm going to stack them up. So now, so now as easy as that, we have all these beautiful cardboard stacks and we are now going to glue all of these stacks like together. I'm going to be using a glue stick. Okay, so now we are going to individually cover each of these little cardboard blocks with this white computer paper. Okay, so believe it or not, the best way I found to cover these little blocks is just wrapping these blocks as if they were a present, like wrapping a present. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my paper like so, and then cut around it, determining how much I think will properly fit be enough and then I'm going to fold up the long sides first and glue them in place and just in case your little edges are too long you can always cut them down after you've wrapped it but I don't think mine are so now I'm going to just press down this like so make the little corners fold them inwards and just do that as if I'm wrapping a present and then just glue that in place and while we're at it, I cut this piece of cardboard that is about four inches long and then as and then a little wider than the depth of all three of my little cardboard pieces. Kind of just take a look. And then I'm going to cover it with my computer paper using my cardboard covering method style C. Uh, skirt, skirt! Okay, so if you don't know what this so-called style C thing is, it's basically just a certain way I cover cardboard. And you can learn style C in the top right right now by clicking it. And the video is also linked in the description box, so if you want to check it out later. All right, so now we are finally going to assemble our sewing machine. So grab this long part and this like short, wider piece and put it right there. And then this really, the smallest piece is gonna go right there. And we're going to glue all of these together using hot glue. Okay, so now grab your decorative paper and on the back, take this and put it on the, like this, put it on there and trace around it. And once you have your little piece traced on there, go ahead and just draw a diagonal line like this and kind of just do this. So there we go, and now we can start adding all the fun details. So on the side here of my sewing machine, I'm going to grab this kind of large button and I'm going to glue it on and then I'm going to add this one just to add some detail. And this is going to be that little wheel that- Creativity, my dude. Creativity. So I'm going to grab two more buttons and I'm going to trace them and- Okay. 
So I have this little circle and also make sure you cut out inside of the lines you drew so you don't see any of that pencil mark that you made and it's going to go on top of the button like this. Okay, so now on these two little paper circles, I'm going to grab a red pen. So basically both of these are going to control the stitching, quote unquote, stitching on your fake sewing machine. I'm going to show you. This doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to start adding little stitches. Then your other one, you are going to write S2. I just saw this on Google, okay, don't ask me. And then I'm going to start with zero. I'm going to go around and then write a one. And then write like a line. And then two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's what I saw on Google, don't ask. And then I just glued them onto my buttons. Glue them onto your sewing machine. I'm going to write singer on this front part right here because that's what like I saw on Google. <laughs> um, I'm going to trace it with my pencil first and then go over it with black. And there we go. So we're going to be moving right along. We're going to be grabbing a toothpick and painting it silver with this silver metallic paint. You don't have to worry about going all the way up to the edge, like, like to the top. Cut a small rectangle large enough to be the presser foot for our sewing machine, and then I cut out this little triangle in the middle like this. Then just paint it silver. Okay, so I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to cut it as tall as I think a American Girl size thread would be and I'm going to make it about that big that's good and then I'm going to paint it white so now I'm going to grab my little silver toothpick that I've painted and I'm just going to cut off the end about like that much find your bottom piece right here and you're going to use a push pin to poke a little hole in the front we're gonna stick to that piece of and then push the toothpick in there like you may need it to be a little bigger and that's fine so i've stuck my little toothpick in there and that's going to be the needle and so now i cut another piece of my painted toothpick off and it's okay that the ends aren't painted i'm just going to glue one end to my little presser foot that i made so once we've glued to that, now we're going to make another hole behind this little toothpick other one behind it. Then I can kind of just stick my toothpick in that hole that I made. And the really cool thing about it is that you don't have to glue it in place and it stays. And so you can kind of lift it up and down. And now we have our needle and presser foot done. Okay, so with that painted straw that we painted earlier, go ahead and just start wrapping your thread that you've picked out. You can use any color and just start wrapping it around that straw until it's almost like a spool of thread, but for 18 inch models. So once you have your thread all wrapped around your little straw, you're going to get a long amount from it, like from your other main spool and just cut it, then put that on the side. So now I'm gonna start making all the little mechanisms the thread has to go through to get down to like where the needle is. Um, so, do this, cut three pieces. So right on the sewing machine, I cut a hole using my X-Acto knife so I can stick this one inside of it and it'll like, yeah. I'm just trying to copy the mechanisms accurately. Now we're going to paint all of these silver. Oh yeah, also I hot glued this piece of like paper clip. It's this paper clip and I hot glued it to the top and I made a hole and then I poked it in there and glued it in. Now I'm grabbing that little piece of straw that has thread around it. I'm going to put this on here and you can glue it down. Then pull the thread kind of tight and like have it pass right in this top corner and you're going to glue your either button down or circle piece of paperboard and glue the thread down like with it. So now once you have that, you're going to go ahead, grit your thread and put it over that bottom part of here and we're going to hot glue this little long oval piece right down there. Okay, so once you have it in there, you're going to go ahead and grab this piece and stick it in that hole that you made and glue it in first. Bring it up, your little thread, and put it through that little slot that you made. And you're actually going to put it through that slot. What I'm doing, 
You don't have to glue the thread in there if you don't need, if you don't want. And then bring it down like this. So put it in that slot that we made in there from here. And now we're going to bring it down to this base part. And you're going to go ahead and grab your little half circle thing with the slit in it. And I'm going to glue it onto the bottom part like this. Okay, so I glued it on and it looks like it's done right, but it's not. Before you do anything with it, you need to seal this baby up with Mod Podge. Now, you can use any other sealant, but you make sure you cover up this paper. You know why? Because this paper, like, the more you touch it, it'll become darker. And you can already see it's not as bright white. You can't really see on camera, but it is. Alright, guys, that is basically it. This is the finished product. It's so cute. We finally got all of it done there's a little mechanism down there it's so cute and you can slide some fabric underneath it to make it look like it's actually sewing it's really cute and yeah and if you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe comment down below because i love talking to you guys and i will see you in my next video bye enjoy the video watch my hair subscribe and like the video and most of all share the channel i'm eating chips by the way